but prosecutors met with the families of the three victims today. And we're going to talk to Ricky Johnson's family about that meeting in just a moment. But first, News Nation's national correspondent, Alex Capriello, has been way out front on this story. He's live now um, in Kansas City. So do you have any confirmations on this story that, um, that Jordan Willis has checked into rehab? Yeah, it was one source of mine that I've met here in Kansas City who knows Jordan from early high school days was the first person to actually tell me that yesterday. And I've been working very hard to speak to other sources, trying to get that individually confirmed. And I'll tell you this, all of the people that I've been speaking to, a lot of high school classmates and also who knew Jordan from college, this is all they're talking about. This is something that's new to them. Uh, but actually independently confirming it, I have not been able to, but it is something that was shared with me early on yesterday. Hey, I'm just getting news coming in, breaking as we're speaking, Alex. So, so bear with me for one second. Our, our local Next Star station in that area is confirming that a source close to the family um, indeed says that he's checked into to rehab. So now it's not just multiple media sources, right. your source, but also the Next Star. I think we've got enough sources now to, to right. fairly uh, confirm that he's in rehab. You did get a chance also to speak to the cousin of one of the victims, of, of Clayton McGinney's cousin, I think his name is Caleb. What did Caleb know and, right. and what did he share with you? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Caleb is very, very distraught as any family member might be because this was just an unexpected death to happen to him. He says Clayton was like his brother. He was cousins with him, but they were like brothers. They were like this. Uh, and so to have something like this happen to him and his family is just devastating. He was actually showing up at the Platte County prosecutor's office where the other parents of these three victims were told to go today for a meeting with the prosecutor, but he wasn't allowed into that room because it was specifically for parents only. Even still, he's really hurting about this because he feels like he knows what happened, something that the rest of the country is surmising what happened, which is drug use, abuse, and overdosing. And he says he knows a lot about Jordan Willis, the fact that he goes back all the way to high school. He knows the drug habits that happened within this circle of friends and that he often says that Jordan was a supplier for that. Of course, this is an allegation from Caleb. This is not something that's been independently confirmed from law enforcement. But he says he has a theory about what happened and he thinks that Jordan is responsible. Take a listen. A lot of times I'm hearing that David, Clay, uh, David Clayton and Ricky were like brothers. Jordan was kind of off on the side. Mm -hmm. True. Jordan's a chemist, bro. Jordan's what? Jordan's a chemist. They all knew him as that. It was easy for them to go have fun, but he f***ed up. He made a mistake. Jordan was the chemist. He, he's a scientist, right? He does what he needs to do. And now, to use my cousin, my best friend, as a guinea pig? No. What about Alex Lee? What do you know about him? I know him. Yeah? Any any idea that he might have brought drugs? Hell no. No? No. Jordan had him. Jordan was one. So you don't think any more attention should be paid on Alex Lee? Alex Lee is a good man. He's a good man. Um, Alex Lee is a solid. He was one of their best friends forever. Jordan is somebody that is known from high school as like creating drugs for people to make them feel better in certain situations. Okay, well, you want to do this? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make this for you. I'm going to make this for you. I'm going to make this for you and handing them out. At this point, the country knows what's going to happen, right? What the toxicology reports are going to happen, what they're going to reveal. We all know that, okay? Who is the one that gave it to them? And who is the one that needs to be held responsible? Where did it come from? The police are doing their job. If it takes time, it takes time. I will never tell them they're not doing what they should be doing. They're doing the best they can. It takes time because you want it to be correct at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And that's what I hope is when at the end of the day it comes out, it comes out correct. And when you think about it, there's a difference between Jordan and the three men. Those guys had relationships. They had children. Uh, but I keep hearing that Jordan was a single guy who had a house, who had access to drugs. And so it would make sense that those men might go there and use drugs recreationally.
recently. Of course, we don't know that for sure until a toxicology report comes out. But all of my sources are saying just about the same thing, that this is very normal activity when surrounded by Jordan. One other thing I want to ask you about, um, our next to our station, the local station there, um, they found out that at least one person in that house was up until 2 a.m. So Sunday into Monday morning, up late, late, late into 2 a.m. Monday morning, at least once, which is fascinating given all of these, the, the timeline of right. events. But Alex uh, Weimer Lee, I think he called himself, he calls himself Alex Lee, says he left at midnight, everything was right. fine. You were able to talk with Alex Lee. Did he, did he shed any more light on, on that or anything else? The fact that, that apparently someone or all of them were up until 2 a.m. or anything else? I have not been able to talk to Alex Lee. I've been trying to talk to Alex Lee. That's been my number one mission while here because I know that he was one of the very last people, if not the last person, to see these four men, Jordan and those three that are now deceased. And so obviously his testimony, his story is going to be critical to this. But I did try to stop by his house that we found through background checks, knocking on his door. Uh, you could tell it's most likely his house. Kansas City Chiefs flags hanging everywhere. Uh, and the address is matches up to our typical backgrounding system. But I cannot find the guy. Uh, really hard to find him. We do know that he also has a lawyer. I'm told from my sources that it seems like he is willing to talk soon because he knows that there is a lot of bad mouthing that's happening about him. Because as you heard me mention to Caleb, is there any possibility that Alex Lee brought the drugs? They know that that could be a possibility, a theory out there. And so I wanted to get to the bottom of it. I'm trying to find Alex Lee. But from Caleb's perspective, he does not believe that Alex Lee is responsible for this. He believes that Jordan is the one that's actually making these drugs and providing them to his friends. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.